Hello. Today we're going to be talking about career and major exploration and how ATU Career Services can help you. Career Services is here to make sure you don't eat ramen forever. We can help you explore your major and career options, prepare for professional opportunities by helping you create your resume, cover letter, practice your interviewing and networking skills, as well as assisting you in completing our Elevate program. We can also help you start your job or internship search no matter what year you're in. If you decide you want to continue your education, we can also help you pursue graduate school. Career Services uses a platform called Handshake. It's your one-stop shop for career services. Handshake allows you to connect with employers and access the resources that we have created for you. It also contains a job board that will help you find jobs on or off campus as well as internships and positions once you graduate. You can customize your Handshake profile so that employers can get to know you. You also have the ability to add your resume or other documents you'd like an employer to see directly to your profile. This is extremely helpful during our virtual career fairs that we've been hosting this semester and will host in the spring. Handshake is also where you'd create an appointment with Career Services for any of our services. You can get to Handshake by going to atu.joinhandshake.com and signing in with your OneTech credentials. We offer another program called Big Interview. Big Interview allows you to choose from general or industry specific interviews to practice the questions that might be asked in a real interview. They also have admissions interview questions if you're planning to go to graduate school, medical school, or any other type of higher education. You can record yourself answering the questions and evaluate your own performance. Once you're satisfied with your recordings, you can also make an appointment with Career Services to receive our feedback and help you improve your answers. That way, when you have an interview, you can ace it. You get to Big Interview by going to atu.biginterview.com. You will have to register, but it is free to ATU students, so use your OneTech login credentials for this program as well. We also have a lot of other services that we can help you with. We can assist you in developing an academic or career plan, preparing for an interview, or practicing mock interviews either with a professional from our office or with employers. We can also help you optimize your Handshake and LinkedIn profiles, improve your networking strategies, or learn how to negotiate salaries. All of our services are free to you throughout your time here at Arkansas Tech, as well as after you graduate. It's a lifetime membership. It, once you graduate, if you need some extra help, you can always come back whenever you need us. We've also created what we call survival kits for each year of college and some of our popular student groups. Each survival kit gives you tips of what you should be doing during that year of college and how career services can help. You can find these kits under our resources in Handshake or by clicking this link. But today we wanted to focus on the Focus 2 and Career Exploration. The Focus 2 is our main tool for career and major exploration. It contains five self-assessments and three career planning assessments and matches you with majors or careers based upon your answers. I'll show you the focus to you more in depth here in a moment, but we want you to know we have other resources that may be beneficial to you as well, such as Live Careers, which has a lot of resources for students on various topics such as resumes, cover letters, and interviewing. It will also allow you to search for articles based on your specific major or job title. Zippa is the career expert. You can learn more about jobs, majors, and specific companies. What can I do with this major allows you to find out exactly that. You can click on your major and learn more about it as well as the career opportunities that are available to you. So what is the Focus 2? The Focus 2 is a self-guided system that allows you to learn more about potential majors and careers by catering to you personally. You can learn more about yourself or confirm what you already know by taking the self-assessments. You can also learn more about the careers or occupations you may be interested in. The Focus 2 also gives you a list of majors and careers that match your results from the self-assessment. You can use the Focus 2 for many reasons. If you're not sure what you want to major in, the Focus 2 can help spark ideas. If you already have a general idea of what you'd like to do, it can also give you direction on how to achieve your goals. The Focus 2 can also identify your top strengths as well as the skills you still need to develop. You can also use the Focus 2 when deciding a major or coming up with a backup plan or preparing to begin work. Many times 
When choosing a major, we may focus on only one option. However, there are many doors and career opportunities open to you just for having a college degree. So having a backup plan and being open to opportunities could help you discover your dream job. The Focus 2 offers five assessments that will help you identify your interests, personality, value, and skills. These assessments are short and easy to understand and can be combined to discover careers that match multiple aspects of your life and might be a great fit for you. The results will give you possible career options. You can click on the ones you're interested in to see how they compare to your interest or code. You can also compare two jobs against each other and understand how they are similar as well as they might help as well as how they might differ to decide which would be a better fit. All of your results from the Focus 2 are based on research from a gentleman named John Holland. Holland discovered that people in work environments fit into six codes that he called RACIC codes, which stand for realistic, investigative, artistic, social, enterprising, and conventional. He also noted that most people have a two to three letter code that they identify with. The Focus 2 will give you a three-letter code based upon your answers. Consistency between the codes and having differ differentiated answers is a good thing. If you answer neutral or in the middle of all the questions, you will not get a clear answer, so be sure to go with your gut instinct and try to avoid neutral answers. Also be sure to take the Focus 2 when you're in a good mood. If you did poorly on a math test, even though you love math, you may begin to rate math-related questions lower because of the bad grade. The following slides are examples of what each code enjoys doing or personality traits that they have, as well as occupations that fit that code. For example, realistic people prefer activities that entail the explicit, ordered, or systematic manipulation of objects, tools, machines, or animals, meaning you enjoy to work with your hands. So people might like occupations such as a surveyor, carpenter, or farmer if they have the realistic code. Investigative people are the thinkers. They value the development or acquisition of knowledge. People may like occupations as a professor, scientist, or chemist. Artistic people are the creators. They enjoy creative activities like art, drama, crafts, dance, music, or creative writing. Some occupations they might enjoy include a musician, a writer, or a fashion illustrator. Social people are the helpers. They enjoy working with others to inform, train, develop, cure, enlighten, or serve others through personal interactions. Social people enjoy careers in teaching, counseling, or nursing. Then we have enterprising. They're the persuaders. They enjoy working with others to obtain organizational or economic gain. So people in sales, management, or politics might be enterprising. Conventional are the organizers. They like routines and attention to detail and are often perfectionists. They enjoy occupations as bookkeepers, accountants, or computer programmers. Before we end the presentation, I would like to show you Focus 2 and how you can use it. So you'll go to the login at atu.edu slash career. And this is our homepage and our website. You'll scroll down until you see the Focus 2 and click login. If it's your first time registering, it'll have you fill out your information and use the access code Arkansas Tech. All one word, all lowercase. So you'll log in using your ATU credentials. You will automatically select the student website. It won't give you those options. But this is what your homepage will look like. You have the three career planning foundation quizzes at the top and then the five self-assessments. Whenever you're first starting out, if you're trying to decide a major, we would suggest taking the work interest assessment. And I'll show you what that looks like. When you take the assessment, it will give you a list of activities that you might enjoy doing. 
You'll rate them on a scale from one to five stars. One being you wouldn't enjoy doing this at all, to I would enjoy it very much. For example, designing graphic art images and illustrations for advertising media. That's something I personally would enjoy a lot, but maybe not that's the maybe that's not the career that I want. So I put it out of four. And you continue to rate each of these and go through the multiple pages. Again, trying to avoid a lot of neutral answers so that you get a clear answer. And then at the end, it will give you your results and you can see those race it codes right here. So I'm social, enterprising, and artistic. It will show you what each of these categories mean and then you can continue to your results where it's going to match you with majors and occupations you may be interested in. So when you scroll down, it shows me occupations that match my results. So Focus 2 tells me that I'd be good as a camp director, a chaplain, a family caseworker, etc. It also shows you majors and programs at Arkansas Tech that would help you obtain this type of job. So you can click on these different majors and find out more about them. It also tells you a salary range, so if making $27,000 a year is not enough, you may not be interested in camp director. So it gives you that as a way to kind of filter out. And then it also gives you the job family. So you can click on the title to learn more about the job. It gives you an occupation overview, tells you the job tasks they usually have to do. It shows you how your code in blue compares to the code of someone with this job. So they really have to be social. So if you're not a very social person, you may not be a good camp director. It just depends on how comfortable you are being outside of your comfort zone. It also tells you skills that you would need for this job, values of people in the job, working conditions, educational requirements, as well as the majors and areas of study that you may need here. And you're able to save that major to come back and look at it more later. It also shows you other common uh, majors or areas of study. So maybe um, we may not have this. I feel like we have a lot of these, but you can click on it and learn more. It also gives you the outlook of the job or outlook, I'm sorry. And you can also see the earnings. So you can choose what state that you're wanting to live in and see what those occupations are or the salary range for that. And then finally, it leaves you with professional associations that are related to the job that you may want to be a part of if this is the direction you see yourself going. If you go back to the home page, you're able to scroll down and it says explore the possibilities. You can compare two occupations side by side and that may be helpful in deciding or seeing how they're similar. So you click on that, you simply search what you'd like to be. So I'd like to be an academic advisor or a career counselor. And so I would choose career counselors. And then it shows you the two and you can click continue to compare them. So it shows you the overview and education requirements, etc., side by side. So you can compare them. And then you can also save the occupations if you're interested that in them to come back to you later as well. You're also welcome to take all five of these assessments or whichever ones you want to know more about. And then you can combine them. And when you combine them, you'll choose, so I'll say my work interest and my skills. And then it gives you the occupations that fit for both of these. So based on my answers for work interest and skills, I'd still be great for camp director, chaplain, caseworker, etc. And you can look at those. So there's a lot of ways that you can use the focus too, and we're happy to help here at Career Services. So if you need us or have questions, you can reach out to us at any time by calling our office, creating an appointment in Handshake, or emailing us at career.services at atu.edu. You can also follow us on any of our social medias to learn more about events we're having and ways that we can help you. So please don't hesitate to, watch, to reach out. Thank you.